In the last few months, I've taken this village, tearing it all down, and then spending over 300 Minecraft days building it back up even better. It currently has a train station and my villagers set up, but today I want to industrialize this city, adding two brand new farms, improving an old one, and a warehouse to store it all. Leave a like if you're excited, and please subscribe to help me reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers this year. And here's the quick plan that I sketched up for this expansion. And only right now, I have two shulker boxes full of stone, and... And I want to get some of these buildings planned out in here. And so I'm just going to start down here at the bottom and work my way upwards. There's two houses in here. And let's get another five of them planned out here. So much stone. And well, this is all the stone I have left. And I still want one more building. So let's just do a quick little refill of this box. And let's just get this final building into existence. Looking back at how the city used to look and taking a step back here with the brand new stone buildings in, we now have an idea of how this finished project is going to look. And to get us there, we have a lot of work to do. To start that work, I want to get these two buildings in, but we have a lot of stone right here. So let's go ahead and bring out a bit of iron and we'll place it up here on the hill because this is an area I won't be working on for at least a little bit. And of course, we're going to give ourselves haste too with this one so that we can mine away the stone much, much faster. And with our temporary stone torn down, let's build up a new foundation using a mix of stone variants. And then for the walls, bringing in some smooth stone along with diorite and mushroom stems. And with the walls in here now, I want to get working on our roof. And this is going to be a little bit of a different one. I've done it in the past over at the other gatehouse on the opposite side of town. And I want to bring it back in here with a bit of a twist. Where I want to on this side over here, just build it up like a pretty much a normal roof. Until we get up to this point right here and build it up on the other side. On this end, we can start with our oak or not oak. This is mango stamp. Bring it up like this. And then we bring in some stairs on top of this and this is the roof i used over at the other gatehouse over here i want to leave space for a couple of windows so we can add one in there then we add a second one in right here adding in our windows just like this pretty big but i think it's gonna fit in perfectly then let's make an inside trim here with some dark oak and uh can i stand here Yes, this will be an inside trim as I definitely want to get some mango around that to kind of mask the dark oak, leaving a little bit of dark oak right here at the top. I've got most of the roof in here, but I do want to add in a little bit of an outcropping here to make it a little more interesting. So I will stack up some spruce and bring in some trapdoors here in the middle. Use this one as a temporary as I want to bring in an oak trapdoor on the outside. Then a small little dark oak awning on this. And no, I don't want you that down. I want you here. And one more block right in front here. With a few details in here on the first part of this house. And to start the tower extension, I first tore down the stone and then use the same mix of blocks as for the house foundation, topping that off with some limestone. And now let's work on the final part of this, the little drawbridge in between. Well, this isn't a drawbridge, this is mainly just a catwalk, but this is going to be the house for a gate, of course. So we break those blocks and okay, I've just placed a bar behind me, not, not, not where I wanted it. I wanted you right here. Let's get the stone out of here, which is a great help to know what you want to do, but it's, it's a little bit in the way when you're actually putting the blocks in. I'm just going to cover those with some dark oak slabs for now. Oh, well, forever. Let's go ahead and get some walls in here now. And we'll just bring these up to the same height that we had before. And then we'll add in our framed glass panes right in here. Also, don't want to forget about my flower boxes. And why not throw in some details now so that we don't have to scaffold up on the outside afterwards. But of course, it, it, it helps if you're placing it in the right way. And now just a little roof on this. And I'm realizing I forgot the fence gates there, but I should be able to fix that. No problem. Easy connection here. Just running that like so and we can just run that across into the tower Aww. 
there. Fence gates, flower pots and flowers. And that finishes us off the first building, I'd say. So let's get the second building built right away using a schematic cannon. And there we go. It's first two buildings in here. And throwing some shaders on, they look really good. With the two houses down here done, let's move up to the top one, which still is looking like a lot of stone. Before doing some material gathering for the rest of the expansion, I want to dig out and terraform an area for a future lake, as this is a project I've had on my mind for a couple of months now. And this is how this area looks. We obviously have to get the water in here and decorate that. But this is a great start. And honestly, I could kind of leave it like this and I'd be happy with it. But I really want the lake. And another thing that we're going to have to do here before we get to some material gathering is my tools need to be repaired. So you know what that means? Got to trade with some villagers. And why? Why are you on the loose? There you go. Get back in your seat. Oh, and we might as well buy some brick here, as I think I'm going to be needing some th of that for the future material gathering. I really have to do something about the storage situation at the villagers. Fresh set of tools, and let's head over to the lumber mill. To, of course, spend a little bit of time going through all of my wood supply to grab up the necessary blocks. So many wood blocks later, back in the storage here to put in the last one in sugar boxes. Next up here, let's head up to the drill garage. Do I have any coal sitting around in here? Maybe? No? Okay, that's fine. As I need to grab my drill as well, I'm I'm out of tough. And, and crimsite. Should be able to find some tough pretty easily down here in this cave if I can get down here. So we'll get that down and then we'll get that one. Okay, I need to make that face in the right direction next time, but this... Oh no, oh no. Oh, okay. Almost messed it up, but that should just continue into that top. Um, okay, four stacks in there. And how much do I have in here? Another four. That should be enough. I got a little more back at home, but not that much. So I had to stock up, but that should do. But I, oh, that. Okay, I, I want to run one more. Grabbing that up, let's head back up to the surface. Let's get all of this unloaded. Turn that into a bunch of building blocks. What we had would have been enough, but can't complain about a little bit of extra. I've got one more thing I need for these buildings here, and that's going to be some sand, which we can head over here and smelt up into glass. And then I want to fly over to the dye factory and see if I have some dyes there, which I should. Maybe not enough, though, as I need purple. Pole. Oh, okay. I have some bones. The train is just a little slow, so I'm just going to throw those into the system. Then turn that on, and we should get more dice. I know I'm going to need some light gray dye. I'm also going to need some white and a little more purple. And now I've just got to spend a little bit of time combining these glasses and dice. Now we're just gonna run these sugar boxes over here to the town. I mean, it's it's a city. It's a city. And I want to work on this building right here, which is gonna be the first of our two farms. First thing, I want to get away the first story here so that we can replace that with the proper blocks. And with our stone gone, I want to go ahead and start making some walls here. Going for a little bit of a mix of a few gray materials for that. I went ahead and got the windows in as I need to place some gravel above a few of those. And now I want to get some window details in here using some spruce support, a campfire and gates. I'm looking at it now and I'm not liking how that clashes as much with the soul campfire. That's what they're called. So let's try that instead. Yeah, I think I'm a bigger fan of that. Over in this little area here, we have a little bit of an indent and I'm just going to fill this with a little bit of coarse dirt now and then I'll detail this a little more. But I'm not sure what I want to do with this house yet. So I'm going to leave this as it is now and I'll fix it in the future. One little thing that we can add is just this over here at the door to add in a little bit of a detail. But with the first story complete, I'm heading up and first tearing down the stone. Adding some new walls in, using a mix of spruce, and then to detail that, adding in some jungle accents. Before moving onto the roof, I headed to the side facing the pottery shop and removed its bay window, replacing it with a catwalk similar to the one at the gatehouse. Now let's pop up to the roof to get that built. And I'm thinking we use our trusted crimside mix for this. The 
roof all done. Let's hop around to the side here where I want to get some concrete in. Then let's do some oak trap doors for a little window and we'll fit in the rest of this. Can I somehow be on the inside here? I'm just going to stand on some iron bars that I have on me and we can get all of this in and finish up the final one right over here, which should complete the house itself. And it's actually very spacious, which is going to be good for what I want to put in here. I want to put a limestone farm. I have a small one, but it's very hands on and I want to make a little bit of a better one. So let us grab, I'm going to grab, let's see, I'm going to grab, I'm going to start grab a stack of honey blocks. We definitely won't be using all of these, but let's take eight of them. Drop that in the whisk over here and I should have, I have six buckets. So we'll go ahead and make two more, grab some coal and then we fire up the blaze burner below that and this should make us some honey that we can just take out like this. And we also can't forget to head up here to the steam factory, which is obnoxiously loud and grab some lava buckets. I really got to make a proper place to grab lava but another time so let's get to some engineering and last time i winged it went great the dye factory is perfect mm -hmm. but i want to stick to the second floor here as i want to put an interior on the first one i just don't know what yet i'm thinking about it would it be how would i get the items out of here no we wouldn't send them across the catwalk because i haven't here for that over there and that messes with that so we're gonna try to put the output in this corner right over here because that's gonna be closest to the warehouse and so i'm thinking we make this as simple as possible for ourselves so we're gonna get a shaft here we'll run this across as our output to this side then a belt right here and here which we can just get off a few blocks in this direction this doesn't have to be that many we'll grab them a few more though then bringing in some polished deep slate here in the middle we'll bring that up one block one block on this side and ooh, drills the drills need to go somewhere hmm what if maybe i don't need this much honey what if we break these in the middle here and replace that with honey would that flow both sides it would so we're only gonna use four buckets then or we extend it i mean we might as well and then we'll bring out our drills here and we'll get eight drills on this side and another eight on this side this is going to be so overkill but i might as well i i have no reason not to do it some encased shafts on that to get all of these spinnings and we could just power that from over there Ooh, but mm, no because that turns off when the brick is full so no we wouldn't do that this is however the bare bones we should be able to get our honey in here in the middle now put some blocks right over that a few more blocks so that the last lava doesn't escape which we can now throw in right up here and this should make ourselves the limestone at least so the farm basically works i just need to power the rest of it and i i don't really want to power it i do want to power it to test that it works but we don't have an output yet so We'll power it and see if it works, and then we'll turn it off. Oh, look at me. First time using a copycat panel like it's supposed to be used. Or I think that's what it's supposed to be used for, to cover up the shafts, of course. And uh, now that we head in here and we flip the lever over here, is this spinning the right way? It is. Okay. So, are we getting... Oh, yeah. That's... I think I, th I think it's fast enough. I, th I think I think it's uh, it's fast enough. Turn it off. Turn it off. All right, that was a few seconds, and um, <laughs> we got a little under two stacks. All right, it's 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 definitely fast enough. With the limestone farm being so fast, I want to start the city warehouse first, tackling the roof with some crimson, pink terracotta and bricks. And well, right now that roof is flying since I went ahead and removed the stone. So we got to fix that. So we got to start off the foundation here. And I'm thinking, nope, I want one, two, three blocks. Then we bring another one. We go another three and another three over to this point. So that's going to be our three entrances. And then we'll have the storage in here by going ahead and bring in this front up here. On this bottom floor, I went ahead and got in the other walls as well, where we can add in some signs on the corners. And let's get some trap doors and some spruce wood. Then we'll run some trap doors through the middle. And continuing that right over here to get us to the end. And adding those trap doors, I was going to say, but signs back in here. And over on this side. Now let's make our way up to the second floor here, where I want to continue that texture that we have up at the roof down to this level. And to do that, I want to start off with some light gray concrete powder and mix in our die right here then as we go upwards here i want to slightly introduce our calcite into this build and as i'm finishing up this build here i'm realizing that putting the roof in first made it a little trickier to build it but it's fine because we've almost got it done there we go now we just need a few details so let's go ahead and grab some purple glass a couple of leaves and chains so why don't we start with the side window right here where we'll get some scaffolding into the middle then an acelia bush three change on this one because it's three tall and then a staircase up there on the side of this we bring out some oak and get that in right here and then if we just pop over to the other windows to repeat that
Now that we have that in on all of the windows, let's pop up here as I want to add in some purple stained glass behind this for a little bit of a purple hint out here. This one we can leave open and I'm probably gonna have to fix this interior a little bit on the second floor because I feel like this is going to be visible. But otherwise, the rule of thumb I've been having in the city for when I'm going to be making the interiors is definitely going to be decorating the first floor and most likely not the second floor. But with the main portion of this build being done, I popped around to the back to first remove some stone and then build up a little shed. But with that, I want to move on here to the inside as we have to turn this into a warehouse because I have things to store. So first, let's rip out the floor just to add in a new one out of deep slates, which is the same material as the road. But I might add some sort of a barrier at the doors to kind of transition into this area. Anyways, what if we just take some polished deep slate and we replace this right here with that? Yeah, that kind of borders up. I'm happy with that. Now, let's see. We got to think of a little bit. What are we going to put in here? So we're going to have the limestone. I want to have a scoria farm farm and we have a brick farm so that's three farms that should have their outputs here and i'm thinking three vaults for those which we can mark out with some grass here we'll have one right here another one here i want to make sure that we can get up into this area maybe we should do smaller vaults no i don't think like that's an option but i mean if we have those two there we have a final vault over here and then we can extend this wall out two blocks by just bringing out a little more acacia here okay that's gonna work because now we are bringing out that one one block mm, i'm not a huge fan of that could we we can move these over for one block that would work yeah cool and then this could be like a staircase that goes to nothing aka the second floor now i should already have enough barrels we need 54 and another 27 and we're gonna make those into vaults but i am out of iron so i've got to head over here to the iron factory jump across here and grab a few more stacks Ooh, i am low on iron i should start that up again getting a little sidetracked here but i did realize that the iron farm was on but it wasn't getting any gravel i'm suspecting that this isn't working oh yeah it's it's a little bugged out we'll pause that and that should reset. Gotta push that minecart back into place. Now, if we start that back up, it should be working again. Yep, perfect. And with that little detour, we have our iron that we need to craft off our vaults. Which, if we take away our temporary dirt, we can add this 3x3 three three in right here. Oh, never mind. There we go. And I so wish we had like silos, which could go upwards instead. Because then I could build this double the size without any issues. But I can't build it two more blocks this way or three more blocks because, you know, then I have no space in here. Really, really wish you could place these vertically. And now we just have to think about how we want to get items in here. And, you know, my age old favorites, definitely throwing them around the roofs, which we could honestly do. But I think we're going to have to use these two for that. But to build these two buildings, we're going to need some blocks. So let's get some mud, mangrove, and red nether brick. Then I'm thinking we also throw some sandstone and stone variants to switch it up. And just a few other blocks as well. And so with the materials gathered up, let's let our trust friend the schematic cannon do its work and build us two new houses. And they are looking great. It's going to be great looking out over the lake here, which at the moment is a little hard to imagine, but we'll get that in shortly. As for now, I want to wrap around into the city and this street is coming together so nicely. But I want to route our limestone and brick into this building and eventually our scoria in this stone building from over here. And once we have that in these buildings, I'm thinking we can just kind of launch them over the street into the warehouse. Maybe? Let's see. Let's break that, that, and that. We have our three inputs. Then we can grab 30 weighted ejectors here and... Oh, right. I have to hook them up to something on the other side. What if we remove these? Then I need some copycat panels that we can place in front of this here to not break the aesthetic. And then place this high fade back in there. Perfect. Then if we just aim these... Can I aim them on a scaffolding? Oh, I can. From over here. If we actually do something here, let's just crank that back with a hand crank and see if we can get that item on there on it. Yes. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's going to work. Well, that's going to be epic, actually. We might as well reuse the stairs here, just placing them this way. No one's going to see that, right? It's fine. Then cover that up. Perfect. Now we just have to hook up the rest. And I'm thinking we'll start in here because this is going to be the simplest. So we'll get this box out. Those are going to land right here. We'll send one of those into this corner over here. So this is going to be the end point of one of these, which can go from this one right here. That's going to be our scoria. And I'd like the other ones to also be on the back one, which would be right there there and right over on this one shoots and then a smart shoot on top of that and these will have to put some filter on because i want to bring them to the same belt i think as i think that's gonna look the best and we actually have space on both sides to add in a little fire just if we get a little overflow and don't mind it being on the wooden floor and now i guess we just work our way backwards to all of the outputs
right, I've been working away on it here. This is the brick input, which I'm thinking we can put a base in on right here. Can I like, oh, no, no, no. Can I get this to not be it on that one? There we go. Then we have a press on top of this and a funnel on the side here, I guess. Just like that. And then we do the recipe to bricks. I think that works. And that's going to be brought over here. Got the limestone hooked up, all of that. And that goes over into the building. And technically that should go over into the storage. Uh, right after hook up all the builds. All right. I've just turned on the limestone farm here. Let's see if it works. We should see limestone flying. Yep. There's some limestone. And if we run upstairs, we should see it on the belt here and then drop into the first one here. Yep. Everything seems to be working. Perfect. I just have to have an output to this, but uh, soon. That's good. Now the brick and that should work. I can unlock the brick as well by just doing this. Although the brick farm itself is still off because, well, the vault there is full. I'll, I'll fix that a little later. As well, we've got a third output to fix. And to do that, we've got to build this building. And I've got the stone removed. Perfect for us to start building here where I want to get some rail dark oak planks across here. And then every three, we'll do four blocks there. And then 30 more blocks and one more. And that's going to be the length of our wall. This can be where our door goes. Then we extend up this block one more on all of these. Continue our logs up another three past that. This llama is annoying me with all its noises. So, um, goodbye. Then we'll continue up here with some dark oak, leaving a space for a window right there. These we can continue upwards, get some dark oak stairs, that across, and top it off with there. And this big one here, we get some ladders in. We jump on the inside and add in some full blocks. And right over here, we can add in some white glass panes. And what fire am I hearing? I think I'm hearing the fire from the skeleton farm. Before we continue upwards, just add in a little bit of decoration there. And to make this doorway a little interesting over here, we'll first go in with some red nether brick going down like that replacing that one because we only want it like that then we get some cut limestone and just alternate this for a little overhang with a small little post right there copying kind of what we did on this side but with a different color next up let's jump on top here to start adding in a wall we'll leave a gap for a doorway there so i want to make a balcony and then we continue this over and up now with the wall is extended up there, let's get some final details in on this front side here by adding in some slabs and stairs. Jumping on top of this, where we can bring out our door and trap doors. The trap doors we can get in just around right here. Or that little balcony that I talked about earlier. On the windows over here, we'll just add in a cilia bush at the bottom of that. Some trap doors, I was going to say, but that's window stamp. Then we'll get some ladders on the outside and a gate facing into the window. And I'm just realizing now that I'm missing a block I need. I have all the mangrove and should have some oak somewhere. Yep, right in here. But I need some sod blocks. So trip into the nether. Realizing I'm very low on rockets now, but I should be fine if I don't fly the wrong way. Uh oh, this isn't good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We can get out another stack of rockets. Okay, perfect. But right over here, we should have access to some sod. Oh, well, some crimson ilium that we can turn into crimson ilium sod, if that's what it's called. I feel like four stacks definitely should be enough for this roof, considering we only have 64 mango stairs. Before we can get our roof in, we got to get some of our spruce, I was going to say. Again, I'm, I'm missing all of these words, but it, this is this is oak, Stam. This is oak. I know that. And with our oak trim situated, we'll start filling this area in with the sod blocks we just gathered up and some mango stairs. And then to finish off the side of the roof, extending up a chimney here. And of course, capping that off like we have all of the other chimneys in the city. And with what I would call the front facing facade of this house done, I have three more sides here that are lacking blocks. So I just went around and filled those in. And with most of the building in, we got one little final thing here to get ourselves up to these two doors that is up here. And that's going to be a little bit of spruce. We then transition into some slabs and I'm missing a door. But something just like that before we can bring ourselves down on this side again. Right there, but right here. And then some dark oak trap doors here on the sides to get in a little bit of a barrier. Because we don't want to go falling down. But with this house now done, let's put our farm in it. And I want to make a scoria farm. And the score is a little more complicated 
needed to make the lime is. And it's, it's, it's a whole process. Let me show you. So we need to make scoria. And to make scoria, we need to smelt or bulk blast soul sand, which we get from bulk hunting sand and sand we get from cobblestone. So we need to make a cobblestone farm, crush that twice, haunt it, and then blast it. And we have what we want. Sounds uh, kind of hard, honestly. But I'm confident we'll make it work here. So first of all, I want to make up uh, four stairs. And we'll start ourselves right over here. Should know how to make one of these now. So we'll have that built in there. Then we can put some drills on this side. Just going to block all of this up with some blocks here. We get some water buckets for this little area in here to create our water. We, we, we are fine with one lava bucket, to be fair. But we'll get in two. And why not the other two as well? And then cover it up. Cool. That's going to make ourselves our stone. Which, yep, we see in there. I'm going to choose here to go downwards. And that's just because I kind of want to use up the space. And no real reason. I could stay up here, but I'm going to go down. And we'll go down to... To, I want to put in a floor and we'll probably do that on this level. Oh, ooh, ooh. So we'll leave it here. We'll get ourselves a shaft going that way and running also belts in this direction. How far would we need to take this? We'll take it over to here for now. As on this belt line here, we got to first of all grab some gearboxes. One, two there. And we can do the other two right here. Flipping these upwards just like this. Grabbing a shaft in the middle so they'll spin. And then going back to our machines toolbox grabbing some crushing wheels and this is how we turn our cobblestone into sand eventually where i want to take this is out no out up there so we have to bring it back up and we can use our fans for that as we need to both blast and haunt it so moving the items over one block here we'll use our output funnel right there is this is going to be our haunting we can shoot this upwards without worrying about the items falling into the fan or the lava that's below i mean which okay this might be a little slow down now but should be fine Placing that there and then we have our campfire there blowing it upwards okay so this should bring ourselves upwards we're gonna have soul sand in here we drop that out and then we have a fan over in this area pushing it that way which is going to be blasting it yes all right i've routed some power into the building here and everything should be hooked up Ooh, and not that fan though and i'm missing a campfire all right so i've added in the campfire there and i switched this around because i turned it on and it was spinning the wrong way but if we turn it on now it looks like stuff is spinning the right way let's see where's that belt spinning that belt is spinning yep that's spinning the right way is that blowing upwards yes it is blowing upwards and then let's see yep that belt is going the right way now and if we hop up here i just got some soul sand that's perfect that is perfect. That means it's working. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up and quickly hook it up to the storage. Okay, everything in here is looking good, I think. Everything should end up on that depot, which is what the mechanical arms it takes and puts up here. And it's actually missing a filter here, which we got to put some scory on. Let's turn this on and see if we get some scoria into the farm. While we wait for that, we should probably also hook up a depot and a brass funnel over here to actually see if we're getting any items. We definitely have limestone. I don't think we have any brick yet because I still haven't really fixed that vault over there, but I will do that really soon. But let's just wait and see if we have any scoria. Oh, something just went flying over. Huh? Yes, okay, we have it. Okay, it works. But with all of our farms working now, I still have one more building left here to finish. So let's jump up on the roof and let's get to digging. And with our stone torn down, I want to bring our foundation back up using a bit of brick. And with our foundation in here, we can start adding in our second floor, coming in with our sand. And then go into the side of these walls to add in a little bit of decoration before we pop up to the roof to add that in. Using our mix of mushroom blocks here to get a red gradient. And that being most of this, but I do want to make this little like outcropping of dirt here into a little bit of a flower bed. So we'll just add in some tough. And don't tell me I'm missing three. Oh, oh, I have three right here. Perfect. To finish that little flower bed off, which we can add some flowers into a little later when I'm adding flowers into all of the flower pots. Yeah, I've kind of been a little lazy on adding them. Well, I will do it. It looks so good. But the first vegetation that I want to add in to the city is definitely going to be some vegetation around the lake I've just created. I spent a little bit over an hour working on this, filling it in and decorating the bottom of it. And ooh, I need seaweed in here. How could I have missed it? 
And yeah, that looks so much better. I added a lot of vegetation here, but I actually really, really like it. I think it gives off a little bit of a fairy tale vibe, which I'm definitely a fan of this being a fantasy world and all. But one little thing I do want to add back here is definitely going to be a little bit of a port, I was going to say, but this is not going to be a port stab. I want to bring out some slabs here from the ground, just like a level up a few blocks out to make some boat bridges thing. I don't know what these are called in English, but in Sweden, we call them pretty good. Just something a little small like this then we take some dark oak here on the outside and just add in like two pillars right here to get a little bit of a spot where you can maybe stand and fish or you can jump in the water have a lake day just just have a little good time and i want to add in a second one over here at this house This definitely isn't anything super special, but it adds to the lake a little bit, which I am definitely a fan of because I, I, I love the lake. I love the lake. And then maybe adding some boats in here later, but only like small ones that you can actually sit in, not like any custom ones. I, I don't think they're going to fit. Heading back through into town, I want to extend a pathway leading down between the skeleton farm and the warehouse down to this little farmer's house. Halfway up to the city here is perfect. I have wanted this pathway for a while and I think it goes really nicely down to the little fishing dock. This is probably the path that the farmers and the fishermen used to get up into the city and over to the market stands. Now, still have to work on interiors, but I do not have the time to do that today. So, we're going to be spending a little bit of time here on the outside. Because I want to bring out a little courtyard first. I want to use some bricks here. Let's see. So, we're going to go that one two and three i think then we can turn and do another one right here and i'll probably leave this open here because well uh, you're not gonna make it up here right i mean if i just like remove a little bit of dirt but we're also gonna go ahead and replace a little bit of this with some brick tiles for a little bit of texturing because texturing is always nice then grabbing an assortment of blocks this is a courtyard design i've done a lot in the past where's some mud brick walls here in between some palisades on each of these blocks with a fence on top of them and then also fences on top of the walls with some oak above that now with this we can allow ourselves to take away a little bit of terrain here going over to this house and just clear this whole area Now, as I'm filling this up here, I actually have no idea what I should put in this little area. As this is a warehouse, so I guess they could be storing some things out here. But I don't really know. So, what do you guys think I should put here? Comment down below. And well, I rather wanted a little more adding in some vegetation all over the place. Finally got the flowers in. And just a few little details throughout. Such as this potato wagon over here. Supplying this building right here with potatoes. I am... Um, I'm yet to make an interior, but... I guess it's gonna be something to do with potatoes, maybe like a grocery or something like that. Like the farmers are bringing over the produce and they sell it in this building, maybe. I also have done a little bit of work on interiors. Here we have a little pottery store and even a pot being made. This is actually a minecart under here and I might replace that with a pot because, because I guess these are fire. Then of course we have a little market stands out here. Over in this area, I've done a little more work on interiors. Still working on them on stream here and there and when I feel like it, but they are coming along as we'd have a little flower store over here as well for now behind the warehouse here i just added in a few boxes to fill it out because it was looking really really empty and with those details in that means that this whole project is completed yes not just the expansion for the day but this whole city is finally done and that just feels crazy because i started this project so many months ago and oh my god now that it's done i'm so happy with it i might or might not already have a few ideas on how i can make an even better city in the future but for now this city is done. So thank you so very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.